we have to go to other type of password management vendors. We'd like to stay within the Jump Cloud ecosystem. We need you to introduce the password manager. And that's exactly what we're doing. So we're introducing the Jump Cloud password manager. It's going to complement our single sign-on offering and continue like to take you on the path to passwordless, where you authenticate into Jump Cloud using a password or soon in a passwordless way, and then Jump Cloud takes care of the rest. Jump Cloud authenticates users to applications, cloud services, uh, uh, Wi-Fi connections, VPN connections, and it does that regardless of what the authentication protocol required, whether it's SAML, OIGC, uh, passwordless authentication protocol, or uh, password or when it's password based as well. And this is what it looks like essentially. The user authenticates into Jump Cloud. Once the user has access to their device, then Jump, Clouds authenticates, Jump Cloud authenticates them using single sign-on to applications that support it. And the Jump Cloud password manager takes care of the applications that don't support single sign-on. It's a seamless authentication experience for end users, which is our goal here at Jump. These are some of the features that we are going to have at launch. The password manager is going to store the credentials locally on the end-to-end -end points and sync them in an end-to-end -end encrypted way. That's one of the main features of our password manager. We think that storing credentials in the cloud and giving users master passwords that they have to create, manage, and remember creates an, another source of like friction, of, uh, of risk that we try to avoid. So there is an elegant way to do it, and that's using this decentralized approach. The endpoints store the credentials, the keys that encrypt these credentials are stored in the secure keychain or the secure enclave of the device, and then sync happens between users and devices in an end-to-end -end encrypted way through Jump Cloud servers. The password manager apps are available on all major platforms at launch, so iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux, and all major browsers, so users can use and access passwords anywhere. The password manager autofills passwords and 2FA tokens, TOTP-based 2FA tokens in the browsers. It enables secure sharing of passwords and other types of credentials through the shared through a shared folder feature. It has a password generator that allows users to create strong and unique passwords when they're signing up or resetting their password on a specific service. It generates password strength reports that uh, users can see and make changes to their vault to have the best uh, uh, and most secure passwords stored in their vault, like very secure passwords stored in their vault. It's deeply integrated with the Jump Cloud Open Directory platform, which allows, like ties the user identity of Jump Cloud of the directory to the password manager. So you have single sign-on, MFA, device management capabilities, and password management, all tied back to that same identity, which makes management super easy. And it's centrally managed from within the Jump Cloud admin console. So you can deploy it to users, uh, get an idea of what's happening across the organization, see shared passwords that are being created by your users, uh, control the access to users to different types of shared folders and so on and so forth. And you can use our APIs, the Jump Cloud APIs, to provision and deprovision access uh, to the password manager. With that said, instead of talking more about it, we, we all think, I think that it's better for you to see it. So Rob here is gonna help us, is gonna walk us through a demo of the password manager that's hopefully gonna answer a lot of the questions that might be starting to brew now. So Rob, take it over. Perfect. And I grab this. Awesome. So, um... This is uh, essentially the desktop app of the of the password manager. Our, our password manager is made up of really three potential components. We have the desktop app, which is available on Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, of course. So everything I'm showing you here will be identical if I was on a Linux device or a Mac device. In this context, I'm on a Windows 11 uh, virtual machine. It does also work with the biometrics of those operating systems. So in addition to being able to unlock this with a pin, I can use Touch ID, Windows Hello, or whatever I have configured for authentication on that device. So this uh, will show the desktop app um, and <clears throat> the browser extension is also built into the browsers and we also have a mobile app for both android and ios so digging right in you can see that this is broken into three different sections this left side over here is really like a navigation pane it helps me get to the main parts of the password manager to help me find the items that i have saved um, usually 
Obviously, the main one will be passwords, and I can see the passwords I have shared here or have imported. Um, these passwords with a folder icon indicate shared items. So these items have been shared with me. Either I've shared them with somebody else or they've shared been shared with me. So in this case, it's been shared. I also do have payment cards, which I can store a credit card or a, that I want to share the rest of my team. Um, there's no longer that leaving the card on someone's desk or like an intern's desk and hoping it doesn't come back with, you know, 10 pizzas charged to it or something like that. Um, you have a secure notes. This is more of like that kind of that nice dumping ground replaces that <clears throat> that data that doesn't necessarily nicely fit into a shared document. And you don't want those residing in the cloud necessarily. Could be security answers uh, or answers to those security questions that you have to set up license keys, install scripts, whatever you want to use. I'd like to use it for this, but really you can have this um, as that backup spot. So you don't have this just sitting on your desktop. Most importantly for many of our users, especially um, IT admins is the um, ability to have 2FA tokens. So we do have a built-in authenticator. It works with this, this very similar to like a Google authenticator type app where you have a 2FA secret that you would then um, copy or scan with a QR code using the mobile app, or you can copy and paste it into here and effectively set up a TOTP code and associate that with, um, in, in, in reality, you could actually even attach it to a password. So for instance, this is a, a, a bank account that I have 2FA enabled on. I can simply go here and this password item also has the 2FA token attached to it. The, in addition to that, we do have ID cards allowing you to share and save um, like really driver's licenses, passports, whatever it is that's for personal information, no more hunting down your wallet or anything like that. And identities, which is nice for address autofill and other capabilities like that if you wanna um, keep billing or shipping addresses handy. But the main component, obviously many of you guys will be using would be the password manager. So the password manager here, we have all the important details. I can easily have this set up. In this case, this is a shared credential, but a non-shared one, this is broken into two different types of vaults. So I have shared folders or I have a personal folder. So the only person that would have access to this password would be myself. Nobody else is gonna have access or visibility into this. Even an admin wouldn't be able to come in and start peeking at my personal passwords, really keeping, um, keeping it much more secure and keeping that scope uh, a lot more limited. But if I do decide to share a credential with someone, we do make that very easy. And your end users are able to do this without a lot of intervention from the admins. So in fact, like this password was created and let's see, okay, this is a, a decent password. I can then um, share this to the rest of my team or if I need to update it, let's say this password is found, you know, a data breach or expired or whatever, I can just save this password. And as you can see up here, it's syncing back to my other, um, my other user. So that sync occurs not only for shared items, but also, as Antoine had alluded, this data is shared, is stored offline, meaning it is encrypted and stored locally. And I can actually have other devices attached to this as well. So if I had another laptop, if I happen to have another mobile device or whatever, I could add this device to my account and my device would then function as an additional vault or additional copy of my vault where the data would be stored on that device as well. And any changes, you're no longer doing anything like copying a database to a USB stick or plugging it in or anything like that. You'd be able to, update passwords, it, na it automatically would detect that there's been a change, and then it would send a changed sync event to the other devices and keep everything in sync. So you're no longer juggling or forcing a manual update on each device. This is now going through um, having an offline storage with benefit of keeping it out of the cloud of a centralized database that's just primed for being attacked and, um, and targeted by hackers. You now have a local database that is shared across all of your devices in a peer-to-peer -peer kind of fashion. Um, keeping your data safe and local and under your control. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.